Wisteria. Energy. 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 Twist. 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 Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This bite-sized story is called Jealous, A Wolf's Heart. Camilla Cross is the author. He told her he was busy that evening, which was about two weeks before the Halloween dance. His mother also had him already running errands for her, while she went out with her friends for some kind of night out on the town. He sounded disgusted with the very idea, as if it repulsed him to know that his mother had a social life. I could come over and cheer you up, you know. Lindy purred, her gravelly voice even scratchier than usual. Gabe had laughed at that, but it was different this time around. Something in the tone of his voice was... off. Her acute hearing had picked it up the second he answered the phone, but she ignored it, decided it was all in her head. He told her his herons would take all night and that maybe they could go out tomorrow. His mother would likely sleep until noon, which would allow him to sneak out of the house in the morning. Maybe we can go to the lake, he suggested. Do you know how to swim? He was trying to distract her, and she knew it. But Lindy played along and even planned to fish out last year's swimsuit. She and Gabe began dating at the start of summer. She hadn't told him yet about her affliction, but prayed that he wouldn't be too put off by it. After all, the small population of werewolves in their town was peaceful, so long as they were able to get their hands on enough raw meat during the full moon. She remembered being a puppy, and running round under the light of the first swirl of the moon, chasing bunnies and deer. Her father had caught her in one big claw, and stuffed a small stake in her mouth. She was five when she turned. Her mother was human and hadn't really wanted the werewolf life for a daughter. As peaceful as they were, there were still people who didn't quite understand their kind. But Lindley had gotten into a wrestling match with her baby cousin, who was already a full werewolf, and he accidentally bit her. The rest was history. Now she used all her heightened senses in order to figure out why her new boyfriend was lying to her. He seemed to really like her, and she was quickly falling in love with him, which was dangerous. Her mother had warned her about falling in love with the humans, when you were any part werewolf, let alone fully changed, but she couldn't help it. To her, Gabe was a perfect guy and very handsome. She already dreamed of having his babies. They would get his tan skin and light brown curly hair, maybe her button nose and blue-violet eyes. But God, she was only sixteen. And if he was acting so strange after barely a few months, what would he be like after a year or a decade? She decided she had to fix this now, before it all went to shit. It wasn't too hard to track him down. She still had the sweater he'd wrapped her in one night during the last week of the humid summer evenings, when she pretended to be cold just to snuggle up to him. She could practically feel her tail wag that night, even though there wasn't a full moon then. She shook those thoughts off her head, because really, what would they matter if she had to tear his limbs off for cheating on her, and began to follow his scent? This wasn't right, using her senses to track down her boyfriend and not trusting him like a girlfriend was supposed to do. He had lied to her, and betrayed her trust anyway. So this was really all his fault. She spotted him walking down the street with a bouquet of flowers in his hand, and his hair slicked back actually combed for once. And Lindy felt her heart drop. The bastard was cheating on her. She growled low in her throat and began stomping after him, keeping her distance so she could out him in front of whatever hussy he... She paused. He wasn't walking towards any restaurant or even the movie theatre. He made a sharp left into the cemetery. And Lindy frowned as she crept after Gabe following his scent so that she could stay far enough away and not be seen. He didn't even pause for a second. He knew exactly where he was going. She continued to follow him as he walked through the gravestones until he came to a big marble cross. It looked relatively new and uncracked among the rest. Gabe stopped in front of it, placed his flowers at the base, then got on his knees and pressed his forehead against the cool stone. 
She could hear him murmuring something, a prayer, maybe before he pulled away and sat cross-legged, right there in the damp grass. Hey, Dad, he said, and Lindy's paw flew to her mouth, reflexively, to stifle a gas that sounded more like a faint yelp. A long time no see. Boy, have I got a lot to tell you. <clears throat> My girlfriend and I, Lindy smiled with tears, misting in her eyes and turned around, making her way back quickly through the cemetery. She took a deep breath when she hit the streets and gave a relieved sigh. She started to make a list of all the ways she could make this up to him. Perhaps a few dozen cookies would do it. Or she could cook him his favourite dinner, if she had to. There were thousands of possibilities, and each one sounded better than the last. She had a big to-do list. The end. And that is a tale of... I guess it's a werewolf in love with a human. <laughs> Interesting story. Um, But the author has, obviously, the full version of that book which I can put in the description where you can find it. That is just a bite-sized section from the whole story. Thank you for listening and many blessings. Wisteria. Energy. Twister.